Pas qui on fait. Fucking shit. Come on. <laughs> gotcha. Who's a good girl? Is you, Rosie? Goodest girl in the world. All right, girl. I'm gonna go put this beer away. Stay here and keep watch. Nothing good. Hey. Everyone thought you died because, you know, you're you. No, I'm okay. Good. I'm sorry about Lewis. I'm, I'm sorry I didn't listen to you or Clem. I'm sorry. I don't know why I mess up all the time. I'm just, I'm really sorry. I thought a lot about it and I felt a lot of ways about it. Then I decided to forgive you. I was worried you would be angry. I was scared because, you know, you're you. It's probably because of all the trauma that's on you. Clem told me. We just have to find a doctor to fix you. I don't think we'll ever find a doctor. I think they're all gone. So I'm just going to mess up all the time? Probably forever, yeah. Oh, hey. I found this way down the river. Sorry it's so wet. I figured you would want it back. Yeah, I do. You should wear it. Nah, my hair's too big on my head. AJ? Why did it take you so long to come back? At first, I was ashamed. So I followed the river for a long time, just thinking about Vinny and... Yeah? I found their bodies. I saw what the walkers did to them. They were just bones and stuff. Meat. That's really sad. Kind of. Kind of? No. I know it's sad now. I just... 
I wasn't sad then. Do you know what naive means? No, Clem never taught me that one. Do you remember that drawing I made for you the night Brody died? With the house and the walkers and my sisters and me? I remember. You said you sometimes drew your sisters like the walkers left them instead. Naive means you think a certain way because you don't know the way it really is. When I saw Minnie's body for real, how the walkers left her. I realized those drawings were stupid. That house will never be real. I'll never meet my sisters again. The only thing real is when we're alive. I don't think I really know anything about the world, AJ. I think you do. Can, can you teach me to be like you instead? The way I think just gets people in trouble. Okay. Everything I know, I'll tell you about it. The first rule is never go alone. <laughs> hey, hun. It's getting late. Just coming to check on you. Dinner soon. Tennessee? Uh, mm, thank God. Hey, Ruby. We gotta get you home. I swear. I'm so hungry. <laughs> I bet. You coming with? Whoa. You found it? How did you... Tended. You guys go. I'll catch up. I'll be okay. Let's go home. Let's go home.
What you doing there, goofball? Whoa, <laughs> easy there. You're out of bed. You're walking. And, and you have wood arm legs. Crutches. Crutches. I found your hat. Well, Tin found it and gave it back to me. It was in the river and it's all wet now. It's definitely seen better days. You know what? You keep it if you want it. I'll put it in our room. I have a surprise for you, too. Come with me. I want to show you something. So, what do you think? It's... is for me? Yep. Willie helped me put it together. Come on, let me push you. Best Clem. It's gonna get cold. Come on, let's go eat. We're coming. make a full pirate. Arr. <laughs> I wanted to wait till you were up and about, but how I behaved on the boat, it was really unfair. My head was so messed up by Lily, and 
than Minnie. I was so wrapped up in my own shit. It's okay. You went through hell in that boat, and I let that happen. I'm just glad we got you out of there. Hey, Tin. Wanna practice? I can show you how to use the gun. Okay. So that's where you put the bullet. When you shoot one bullet, it pushes another one up into the chamber. You know you're supposed to shoot them in the head? Uh, yeah. I know that much. Okay, good. Just making sure. Well, I'm getting tired, kiddo. Mind talking with me before I turn in? Sure. Katja. Sorry. It's okay. I stare at it too. If it was just you and me alone out there, and I was like this, I don't know if I'd make it two weeks. I'm gonna need these to go anywhere. And if we ever had to run... It wouldn't be pretty. At least you didn't lose a hand. You can still shoot a gun. I can. And maybe I'll get good again someday, after a lot of practice. <laughs> All this... It's worth it. All those times you would ask me if we'd find a home. All I could ever tell you was, we'll see. And your face would fall every single time. It's better than saying yes and lying to me. And that's what I told myself. But you want to know something I didn't tell you? I never had a plan. I never knew where we were going. I never knew anything. I just fought and fought and fought and hoped you didn't notice. Hope we'd find something before you did. Did I do a good job? You tried really hard. That's all that matters, right? <sighs> it's part of it. A big part. When we were in the barn, you didn't listen to me. And if you had, I'd be dead. I shouldn't have said you weren't ready back in the cave you showed me how wrong I was you'll have to be strong for the both of us you made it so I can so thank you for everything you're welcome for everything
Okay, okay. In you go. Lewis explained how this works, but it still seems like magic. Alright, so that ends it. I gotta say, for a moment there, I actually thought Clementine died. I mean, I thought, hey, that was like pretty much the end. Because what happened was that it reminded me of Lee. What happened with Clementine and Lee? Uh, Lee got bitten and stuff like that. But, you know, I guess this is kind of good. I didn't want to see Clementine die anyway. So, this is a good ending. And there's a lot to go over about why Clementine didn't really get infected and I'll probably take a look at it further but you know so far it seems like this is very very good I like how you know Clementine didn't die she was like the main character we've been following throughout the entire series so you know glad that didn't happen obviously Lee was important too but you know that ends it this is the final season episode 4 and all of our choices just end up here.